one of our major challenges is something that you address in a, a recent piece that you just wrote, um, where you actually directly disagree with uh, our our friends and colleagues, John McWhorter and uh, Glenn Lowry and a, a couple of other people who who kind of, for you know, for lack of a better way of framing it, sort of throw their hands up and say, look, this is the water we're swimming in and I don't know that there's a way to get out of it. Uh, and I don't know that 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 we should even want to necessarily, right? right? Depending on, on what we're talking about. So right. tell us a little bit about that and and what prompted that, what what thoughts from Glenn and John prompted that and, and what your responses are. Thank you. You're talking about the piece entitled uh, Considering Deracialization a response right. to Glenn Lowry and Clifton Roscoe, who's a friend of Clifton Glenn Roscoe. Lowry's, who had a piece on his Substack um, titled something like Race is Here to Stay. You know, we just need to learn how to deal with it. So mm -hmm. I took umbrage at that and disagreed with that respectfully. OK, sure. Um, I have deep respect for Glenn Lowry and and his his integrity, you know, and his, he's gone through various uh, stages in his own life. And he, as he's writing his biography, is reflecting on those stages. And he's being very self-critical. You know, it's like sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of people who might criticize the period in the 80s when he was, you know, pro-Reagan and stuff. But people, they go through developmental changes and he's probably right. more harsh on himself than those people, you know. <laughs> But I yeah. think that what I found as far as Glenn in particular is that he says, yes, we need to stop over racializing various topics, you know, because that's a dangerous road to go down. We've seen that. He says, mm -hmm. but as far as like deracializing, where we, you know, really separate ourselves from race per se, he says, I don't know about that because. I have these traditions, these, these Black American or African American, Afro American, whatever term you want to use, that I don't want mm -hmm. to let go of. I've been nurtured by them. And what I said in the piece is I'm nurtured by them too. And right. I have given up believing in the concept of race. And I mm -hmm. want to separate myself from the process of racialization. And I no longer mm -hmm. believe in a racial worldview. That doesn't mean that I give up my heritage, my ancestry, right. my culture. It doesn't mean that. And I think what happened there mm -hmm. is that I think Glenn is conflating in this instance race and culture, which is a really mm -hmm. um, unfortunate conflation because they are not the same thing. But John McWhorter, right. um, John just says, look, you know, I choose my battles. That's not a battle. <laughs> that's yeah. not a battle I'm willing to wage, yeah. and that's his prerogative. Right. That's his yeah. Prerogative. He's got too many. <laughs> huh? He's got he's got enough of his own. Yeah, he's got that's enough. True. You know, I mean, so I don't I don't begrudge anybody just choosing not to wage mm -hmm. that battle that I've chosen to wage, but there are some mm -hmm. of us who have chosen to to wage that battle because it's so yeah. tied to our identity as Americans, and then to mm -hmm. continue from Americans as a part of, you know, West, our Western heritage. And it's been right. so destructive. Now, right. if we deracialize tomorrow, you know, particularly in the piece you're talking about, we talk about the U.S. census and mm -hmm. where we add racialization, or should we say how you are racialized to the question about race. So instead of compelling people to, self-racialized. What race are you? Which assumes that race is reality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You would say or ask, how are you racialized? Because how mm -hmm. you are treated is often related to and connected to how you're racialized. Yeah. So that question allows you to, like we were talking about with art, separate yourself from race and racialization but you can acknowledge that people are racialized and still track bias and discrimination by tracking how people are racialized. You see what I'm saying? 